Well, good morning and hallelujah, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, hallelujah. Well, friends, today is July the 15th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7. But before we take a look at the text, have you ever noticed that when you are on a spiritual high, when you are on a spiritual mountaintop, everything seems to be going your way? Everything seems to be okay? And yet, when the smallest event takes place, someone pulls out in front of you in traffic, someone passes you on the highway, Someone speaks rudely to you at work. It's as if all the air has left your cells and you feel depleted and dry. And in the scheme of things, these are minor events. I mean, you haven't been cast into prison. Your head's not on the chopping block. But that spiritual mountaintop has disappeared and is nothing more but a faint memory. Does that ring a bell for you? Because I know it does for me. And that's what our text speaks of this morning. Our text comes out of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 14. And it says, In the day of prosperity, be joyful. But in the day of adversity, consider. In the day of prosperity, be joyful, be thankful. Let your hearts be full of praise. But in the day of adversity, consider. In other words, because this is a time we feel youthful, strengthened, as if we could take on the world, we should, through prayer, prepare ourselves for the day of adversity, because it is surely coming. We don't know when. And some days of adversity, obviously, are more difficult than others. I mean, if someone speaks rudely to you at work, you may quickly get over that. If you get a phone call and a loved one has died, that may take a little bit longer. But the point is, is that the day adversity is coming. And we see that in Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 10. It says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. And that's the whole purpose of the day of adversity, the day of trouble. It's put there to test us. And just as any test, it's not there to show us our strengths. It's there to show us our weaknesses. I mean, if you take a test and you get a C on it, you're not going to focus on the things that you got right. You're going to focus on the things that you didn't get right, the things that you didn't know, so that next time you might get a B or even an A on the exam. Well, it's the same way in the exams of life. These adversities are placed in our way so that we can learn from them and we can better ourselves in areas that we are weak in. And so the text is encouraging us, and I am encouraging you, that if you are on the mountaintop, remember not too far ahead of you is a day of adversity. And you should be praying even now that you'll stand strong in that day, that you will pass the test in that day. I mean, as students of the Bible, we know that things are going to get very bad in the end of times. And so we shouldn't be focused upon the time of blessing that we are in right now. And as bad as things may be, we are still in a blessed country here in the United States. And I'm not saying that we should be so consumed by the fact that the world's going to fall apart that we don't even want to walk out the door. But we certainly want to prepare ourselves for possible imprisonment, for standing for the truth of the Bible and the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to prepare ourselves for the beating that may come. Can we love them as they are beating us? I mean truly love them where they see and feel the love resonating from within us. There is a day of adversity coming for you and for me, friends. We know not what tomorrow holds. And we may say today, like Peter, we'll never deny you. And yet when that day comes, that's exactly what we do. 
So how do we prevent this from happening? We prepare ourselves now. We strengthen ourselves in the spirit. We build up our inner man so that he is much stronger than that of the flesh. That's why it's so important to crucify the flesh daily in every manner we possibly can. We want him to be totally depleted of all strength. And we want our spirit man to grow up into such a great giant of faith. And the way that we do this is we focus on the potential of the day of adversity coming. We pray that the Lord will keep us from evil on that day. We pray that we'll have the faith that we need on that day. We exercise our faith even today. We can, we can speak the name of Jesus and even in minor fashions, we can endure persecution today. That's going to build us up and make us stronger when the, when the greater forms of persecution come. We can know the word of God so that our mind immediately races to the word of God and doesn't find every possibility to flee when those troubled days arrive. And most of all, we can be in fellowship with the Most High, with our Father, loving Him and adoring Him and establishing such a foundation in our souls that we would say as many who have gone before us, He has been so faithful to me through all these years. How could I deny him now? Well, friends, may your journey with Jesus be blessed today. May your heart be full of praise. And may your mind be constant upon the things of God. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.